Welcome to this online premiere of my graduation recital entitled Within Without. I am Joseph Luis T. Herona, host and recitalist. Thank you so much for taking the time of day to watch. Make yourself comfortable and please enjoy the show. Composers often draw inspiration from a multitude of sources. The natural world, historical events, personal experiences, and the works of their predecessors. These influences result in new creations, a breath of new life that are as diverse as the individuals who create them. My voice as a composer just so happens to dwell on my individual experiences of the human condition in general. In pursuit of expanding my horizons, it's about time that I branch out and touch the interpersonal, the relational, or even as broad as the sociological. To create a sincere body of work is to create from a place of authenticity, and I am glad that I have been given enough time to dwell on things that I truly cared about. But as I grow and mature, so do my sensibilities and purview. It's about time to emerge from within and engage towards the without. I will be presenting three orchestral pieces for this recital. I have programmed my pieces in such a way to narrate that process. From the depths of within, I will be starting with my first piece entitled Dearth of Consciousness for solo soprano, solo tenor, and orchestra. Derived from a narrative technique known in literature as a stream of consciousness, this piece is a confrontation of the shortcomings of the composer's own writing process, resulting in a dearth of ethos. The exchanges between the soprano, tenor, and orchestra paint an internal dialogue of man versus self. This cannot be. All my life I've worked on setting free. But why, but why? Do things I try to go awry and bleak?
foolishness. You think this life is flowers, green pastures, trees. Don't fret, you're done. You are enslaved to the confines of this mind. of selfishness you want to be adored Cloaking hubris in disruptive self-deprecating views Honestly how Perfection as the cure Don't realize that will hinder you for sure Stagnating processes that further your craft But you chose to succumb in this wicked path
much need You know it in you that you have a voice Why don't you use it? Why don't you make a choice? You keep on working to become someone else Coming to terms who you are and what you're worth The end 
of all your fears is when you start to fight to lead and take control and bend destiny because of all the hurt and all the pain who make you stand amidst your shame the end And take control and bend destiny. Set me free from because of all the and all the make you stand, make me stand amidst your shame. Amidst my shame. Shame. My voice was born, but in it always is. I need to have it. He has been always you, definitely. Set me free. Oh, the bad man won't let me wish you. From the individual, now into the relational, the second piece is the indomitable human spirit for orchestra. The indomitable human spirit is a piece where the title is an axiom that draws inspiration about the power of human will and perseverance against the indifferent cruelty of the universe. Popularized in mimetic use around mid-2022, it is through internet culture that this concept gained relevance. This fanfare-esque composition is centered around and celebrates the multifariousness of the human experience.
Now expanding further into the sociological, my final piece is Perpetual Motions Within the Engine of a Functional Society for Orchestra. This piece is a minimalist piece with constantly evolving textures. A vivid picture of the hustle and bustle of city life, this piece is a musical commentary of the seeming perpetuity of the cyclical daily life of a regular citizen, endlessly taking part in the quote-unquote engine of the economy that contribute labor to make a quote-unquote functional society out of. Inspired by the scenes of the Manila rush hour traffic during every morning commute, and in contrast, the pressure of keeping up late to burn the midnight fuel, this piece strives to portray a bizarre visceral experience of what it is to undergo such experiences through music.
This graduation recital entitled Within, Without has now come to a close. Thank you so much for taking the time of day to watch this online premiere. It has taken a whole lot of effort to put everything together, from the compositions themselves to the production and logistics. I could say that this has been a miracle to reach this point. I would like to extend my greetings to those who have made this moment possible. UP Diliman Oika, for the privilege of awarding me a grant in the UPD Creative slash Critical Thesis Grant in the Arts, Culture, and the Humanities, and their continued support despite changes in the mode of delivery of this recital. Esteemed panelists of this recital, Dr. Marie Jocelyn Marfil, Mr. Alexander John Villanueva, and Dr. Jonas Baez. The UP College of Music Department of Composition and Theory Chairperson, Professor Mary Catherine Cabral, who provided me guidance during the early years of my composition journey. My recital advisor, Professor Josefino Chino Toledo, who accepted me in my later composition classes and whose expertise and wisdom helped make this graduation recital possible. Dearth of Consciousness performers, Hannah Osorio Soprano and Mark Nicholson Haluag, tenor, for their willingness to perform for my recital and their amazing work ethic. Stephen Tan, a BM Composition alumnus from 2022, a dear friend, for the use of his recording studio for the production of Dearth of Consciousness. The CMU administration and staff, whose assistance helped make sure all the logistics of this recital went smoothly. And to my family, who supported all my endeavors and had given full trust and confidence in the production of this recital and my pursuit of music. I may have downplayed the degree of how much I secluded myself in my room, working tirelessly on the production of this recital. But it was all worth it. Thank you so much. Have a good day.